Let's talk about Lara Trump and Spanish. Donald Trump's daughter in law, Lara Trump, went on TV and she bemoaned that stuff is in Spanish in the United States. There's some stuff in Spanish. What stuff she's talking about, I don't actually know. Here is Lara Trump on Newsmax. And this is really reminiscent of a guy named Pat Buchanan. Pat Buchanan, a couple decades ago, was one of these right wingers who was all concerned about people need to speak English and there's problems with Hispanic immigrants and so on and so forth. Here is Lara Trump taking a page out of the Pat Buchanan playbook. This is the United States of America. We speak English here, but you go anywhere in this country, Eric, and you'll find everything in English. You'll also find it in Spanish. Um, but I think you're right. What, look, at the very least, we need a system to vet people to make sure that people are coming here for the right reasons. And if this is yeah, everywhere you go, everything's in English, but you also find it in Spanish. This is like a low rent version of Pat Buchanan. OK, Pat Buchanan used to come up with this whole framework in which Hispanic immigrants are bad because they resist learning English, which makes it so that they don't assimilate. And Buchanan would he at one point compared Mexican immigrants unfavorably to Italian immigrants. And back in 2006, Pat Buchanan said Mexicans are determined to retain their language and loyalty to Mexico. This is something we've seen pop up many times in the Republican Party. J.D. Vance, for example, has pushed a bill to designate English as the official language of the United States. They love talking about that. We need to assert our official language of English, which is true. It is the United States doesn't have an official language in that capacity. Now, what's the truth about this? The truth is that Spanish is the most spoken non-English language in the United States. Thirteen percent of the American population speak Spanish as a first language and another 7% of the American population has proficient or better Spanish as a second language. That's an insane number of people. 20% of 330 335 340 million people speak Spanish. What's the big deal if there's parts of the country where you find things in Spanish? Now, by the way, I don't even know what Lara Trump is talking about. I know that there are official documents which sometimes are in English and Spanish and sometimes further languages as well, based on how likely it is that there are Americans that speak those languages. But this is the exact sort of Pat Buchanan xenophobia that we used to see a lot. And Lara Trump is just angry, really angry that you can go around and see Spanish written in places. These people are pathetic. But this is all they have. It's all they have. And it's not surprising to see Lara Trump go there. So I wrote another book for kids. The first book was Think Like a Detective. The point of the first book was to teach kids critical thinking, which Republicans don't want them to learn, because when kids learn critical thinking, they don't vote for Republicans. The new book is Think Like a Scientist. This is a fun adventure teaching kids the scientific method again. Republicans aren't big on kids learning the scientific method because when they do, they're less likely to fall for Republican lies about climate change and vaccines and so many other things. You can get the new book as well as the first one at davidpackmancom slash book. This is part of the Adventures in Thinking series. Can you imagine that we're doing this? We are. David dot com slash book. Thirteen thousand five hundred copies of the first book have sold. I'll bring you an update soon on sales for the second book. Think like a scientist. David dot com slash book.